Hey Dana. It's rain. Rain Adams. I just thought since you're so stressed and upset lately, I would just clear up some of this confusion for you. Uh, <laughs> see, I, uh, <sighs> yeah, I am two-faced. I'm very two-faced because I'm insecure. Because I want people to like. Especially girls that play guitar and have a vagina. That aren't Mexican or Jewish. So, yeah. I'm always going to throw you under the bus, Dana. Always. Because I always have. But, you know, you're so, you know, today is Super Bowl. And they want you to think that me and Taylor are having sex today. What do you think? I've had sex with every woman that's made money off of you and stole from you. And none of them were Jewish or Mexican. So don't you think me and Taylor have had sex too? It's not like that blows your mind. But what's the nastiest thing, Dana? None of those women were Mexican, Jewish, or disabled. But the best thing, you know, about uh, Taylor and I, and this should really get you, is it's not that we've had sex. It's that we're friends, and I can text her and call her, and together we hurt you. And have been. And have been lying about it for a while. Rain. Rain. Because, you know, I want her to like me. So I'll throw you under the bus all the time. So yeah, I am mean to you. People, Dana, that are really remorseful, stop their behavior. <laughs> they stop hurting you. And I haven't, Dana, because it's very lucrative. And I've always told you, you know, if you don't pick me in the end, that I have many supermodels waiting for me. And none of those supermodels are disabled, Mexican, or Jewish. But the best part is, you know, your family gave you to me. And instead of you being a gift, you've just always been a burden. I've whined about it. And I've just used you to get pussy, mostly. You've adored me. And me and the girls that have been stealing from you, I've been screwing them and laughing at you. None of those girls were Jewish, Mexican, or disabled. And we're just sitting there in the real world laughing at you making money off of you. Of course, Mandy denies it now, but she really enjoyed it. She likes to play the victim, of course. But yeah, no, that's the truth. I am two-faced, and I'll always throw you under the bus. To you, to me, you're just this burden, this mistake I made in my 20s. Well, I guess it was 30s, whatever. Rain, rain, purple rain. Did I direct your sex or try to put you on drugs in Asheville? Who cares? You didn't mean anything to me. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Does Brad love you? <clears throat> Probably as much as I do. Which isn't much. So, yeah, I'm two-faced and insecure, and I want people to like me, especially girls that play guitar and have the ability that I could fuck. If I married you, would that change now? Well, am I going to marry you? No, I have super, I've told you I have supermodels waiting for me. And you, yeah, it's sad. But I just wanted to come in on uh, Super Bowl 
half time, half time to let you know that Taylor and I have been harming you and laughing about it and enjoying it. And, um, yeah, that's me. Why are you surprised? Oh, I, you know, I just think I needed to bust your bubble. So you thought I was like this amazing, talented genius that would love you and be kind to you forever and thought you were really special. Well, if I really did, I wouldn't have had disabled children make fun of you. You know, I'll be fine after this. You won't. Woo, okay. Well, I'm gonna go, um... Text some other female musicians that probably are stealing from you. And uh, feel good about myself. They'll help me feel good about myself. Happy Super Bowl! Your worst fears are real. Oh, and uh, if people sexualize you out there, Dana, since I am directing, just tell them you'll you'll sue them. If people harm you out there in the world or sexualize you, just yell at them. I'm gonna sue you, cause little tidbit, you can in the future. Rain, 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 rain. Reality is rain. You were a burden to me. I never loved you, Dana. Just a pain in my ass. Two-faced, right?